I thank you very much. For oh, here's Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got a bunch of perf Victoria's Secret perfume. Alexa, set a timer for 30 minutes. All right, so the first one we got. Starting now. Now, I will tell you in advance that love is a common <laughs> denominator on most of these. So, um, you know, just in time for Valentine's Day, which will be coming up sooner than what you think. Okay, so the first one is the First Love perfume. Now these are the 1.7 ounces. They're going to run you $30 a pop. $30, yep. So you automatically qualify for the free shipping if, if you, you put use the code word in. NY 2024. 2024 as in numbers. Uh-huh. Do not write it out. Yep. So um, link is in the bio or simpletreasuresforsale.com. Absolutely. So what the First Love perfume has for scent notes is Violet Leaf, Lily of the Valley, and Sheer Musk. Musk. So that is the first one. The next one is Hardcore Rose. There it is. Again, it's a 1.7 ounce. It's $30. And it has Black Rose, Dark Plum, and Raw Amber in it. I know somebody was asking about Amber the other day. Mm -hmm. She's not here. So, now this one is one of my favorites. It is the Bombshell O-U-D or Ode. Yeah, we don't want you to say Ode. You don't sound right. Well, I'm telling you. So, this is 1.7 ounces. It has the Pink Saffron, Ooh. Suede Penny, Ooh. and Ode. Do you think Pink Saffron is kin to Zac Efron? I doubt it. Okay. So, there you go. All right, so you've got Dream Angel. This is a 1.7 ounce. This is actually a perfume that we haven't had before. Yes. And... I hope it sells before the basic It has scent. pure jasmine, amber crystals, rainbow glow. And just like the other ones, it is $30. Yes. We didn't get any of the big bottles of perfume. No, we did not. That wasn't a good seller. We may get some the first of the month due to the Valentine's Day season. All right. All right. So here we've got... <laughs> Uh, Lorraine's favorite. Tea's Rebel. Tea's Rebel. 1.7 ounces. Yes. It's got Violet Leaf, Wild Rose, and White Leather. Lorraine always says she wanted to be a leather mama. Oh, stop that. Um, all right. So we've got Heavenly. Was it Heavenly when Lorraine got that shepherd's pie today? Um, probably. Golden Musk. Golden Musk. Sandalwood. Vanilla White Penny. This is another one of my favorites as well. Lorraine likes white leather. Okay, stop. <laughs> All right, so we got So In Love mm -hmm. perfume. Told you love was going to be a theme. Uh, we have Violet Leaves, Musk, and Rose Demai. Demai. Mm -hmm. All right, tell us who you are, what you want, which package so up, I'm, get you in the mail. I'm not done yet. So I'm telling people. We also have love. Well, that's been a big thing right now, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. And it has fresh juniper, apricot blush, and boyfriend tea smell. Hey, girls. It's Valentine's Day. Come and tell that worthless man in your life to get that. Yeah. All right. So that is all of the perfumes. So I do have other things that I purchased as well, but the, they've not been added to the website. So we're going to hold off on showing those off until Tuesday. We're talking about them because it would just tick you guys off. And Wendy, too. Yes. She's got to watch her shows here in 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you guys asked for it. You I went it. out today and especially got it. Um, I got a nice range. Uh, they did not have just regular bombshell, but like I said, they've got the bombshell ode, so we got it. And you could be red hot if you get this. Mm -hmm. So that's what we've got perfume wise. You two can be a disco dancing queen with this. Mm -hmm. Lizzie says, I like to tease Rebel because my Auntie Lorraine likes it. Mm -hmm. She's good to me.
And I like the blind man. He gives me snacks. Mm-hmm. Well, come on, guys. We're waiting. So tell me who you are, where you're from. If you had a good weekend so far, you stay warm. So, the free shipping code is NY2024. If you're out there, Carrie, hello. Mm -hmm. Bubblegum Lady, hello. Jerry's World, hello. Mm -hmm. Ruthie down there in the Kakalaka, hello. Oh. We thought about you today when we went out. We still got that one hand soap from yesterday. You're always asking about hand soaps. We got it. We also got from yesterday that has been mm -hmm. posted. Is that what's that called? That stuff that we were. You said you're going to give it a shot and see what happens. The aromatherapy. Aromatherapy. The aromatherapy lotion. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we got some aromatherapy lotion yesterday, which has been. Frequently posted. asked for this time of the year. Yes. And as far as what's all on the table, um. Perfumes, I just went through them a few minutes ago. We've got your Tease Rebel. We've got First Love. We've got Heavenly. We've got Dream Angel. We've got Bombshell O.U.D. We've got Love. We've got So in Love. We've got Hardcore Rose. Got a lot of love. Mm -hmm. Is that L-U-V or L-O-V-E? L-O-V-E. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yes, it has all been added to the site. Yep. Announcements, so you know now that we're going to be going live mm -hmm. from now in on Tuesday nights, Thursday nights, Saturday morning, Sunday night, mm -hmm. Sunday afternoon. That is our lives mm -hmm. from now on in. And they will be from 30 minutes mm -hmm. to 45 minutes tops. The only way we're going to go over if people keep ordering. Besides that, no. So as far as love spell, um... I do have some different kinds of love spell. There's a new love spell candied line that's out. And yes, I did buy some. Um, however, it will be posted um, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. So if you just want to get on there and get it before everyone else, mm -hmm. go on tomorrow. It'll be on there before 10 o'clock yeah. Central Standard Time. Yes. Yeah. So, but uh, like I said, everybody was asking for new perfumes. And we got them. So, I went out and got them. With the help of Lorraine. Mm-hmm. You know, Lorraine went to this place that is going to be open today. I'm going to get me shepherd's pie. And they were closed. They were closed. And then I said, remember, Cheddar sells shepherd's pie. And she was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wendy got her Monte County Briscoe sandwich. Monty what? Briscoe. <laughs> Monte Briscoe sandwich, yes. All right, we have an order. So, Christy. That name sounds familiar. Uh, this is her third order. Is that with a K or a C? C. Okay. And she's from New York. Up there in Bellic, what is it? Like a B word. I-S-L-I-P. Don't know it, but we love it. Mm-hmm. And what did she get? So, she got the Heavenly Perfume. Yes. Is that the one with white leather? No, that's T's, that's T's Rebel. Lions won today, man. We're having our NFC championship party with the Lions versus the 49ers. Yeah. Right. see here. It ain't easy living on the run. I trick my blind man to give him the snacks. I tell my mama I'll run this house. I don't care. If you fall asleep, I'll paw you in the face to tell you to get my food. You know? Oh. I go outside and tell the cats if I catch you, you ain't gonna like the results. Mm -hmm. 
When I go to the spa, I act like I'm from Hollywood. Cause I am. I tell my mama I'm a team logistics. What? I was just talking to myself, going eleven on the run. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, guys, Valentine's Day is coming up. You need to tell the man, son, nephew, buddy in your life that we got what you need and we're getting it out sooner than later. I'm going to say anything by February 8th when we get to you by Valentine's Day. You know? I would say that would be a good mm. date. My mama was my mama was my mama. time I was in the Caroline cart at Kroger's and I pulled up there to the deli and my buddy goes, you're a baby. You're a baby cart. I loved it. Uh, yeah. I used to go in there with Lorraine a lot. I went in there with somebody else. That lady was cutting my cheese. Boy, I could have swore I took money out of that lady's purse. She was hot. Mm -hmm. You're sorry. Bleepity, bleepity, bleep. That's not very nice. Instead of everybody loves rain, it should be everybody loves the rain. Well, that is true. If she'd done the news, it would be the positive news. Everybody would watch it. Well, everything is. She'd sit there and have her little papers and go, she'd go, welcome to the Lorraine news. First well, of all. What was it? I said something and I said, I don't know. It was, of course, you know, something windified. And she goes, I think you heard that wrong. I don't think. And I'm like, well, you are sunshine and roses, so. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah. okay. I was like, all right. It's like Lorraine is like, la, 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 la. Just like I'm sure she would have gone into that gas station and probably come out with at least one package of. Probably you? everything she wanted. That's why you had to go to grab your couple Red Bulls on the house, you know? Yeah. Well, I go in there and get... Get the fuck out. Yeah. My motto is, if you don't want to do your job, don't be there. I love you, though. All Here's right. Let's see here. We're going to print a label here. Oh, yeah. There we go. And I come out, she's like, they didn't have any? She's like, really? And I was like, well, they got one, but they wouldn't sell it to me by the time I was done. <laughs> there you go. Boy, man. What? You should wrap Christmas gifts. No, I should not. Leslie says, no, you shouldn't either. It took her forever to get that one open. That's true. All right, we have another one. Who's that? This is... 
for Ashley. I ain't heard that name before. <laughs> this is her third order. Or is Ash rocking out of? Um, Louisiana. <laughs> Lotch Seidel? Nope. It's T H I B O. Thibodeau. Okay, Thibodeau, Louisiana. Go. All right, you got it. So Ash she, from Thibodeau. She got a luminous pocket back. Okay. A sensitive skin bubble bath. Yes. And a sensitive skin bath soak. You're so, welcome. So. Thank you. I got it, man. Yes, yes, yes. That was your pick at the store yesterday. Yes. Well, everybody keeps asking about it, man. You can't pass it over. Yeah. Well, I didn't think I was going to pass it over, but I just simply said, oh, look. Anyway, get it! Put it in the car! Put it in the bag! <laughs> yeah, but those ladies at the Bath and Body Works were amazingly cool. <laughs> You know what I found out when people could be really douchebags? What? You know what I found out when people could be real douchebags? Okay, when was that? It was 1987 in Yukon. It took you literally 1987 to figure it out? Yeah, well, I just, I thought people, you know, just, they acted like douchebags, but we we're walking down the street and I was bouncing my basketball. Uh, it's over where my sister lives. It was me, Billy Whitmore, a couple other guys, but some guys I knew. We're bouncing the basketball and stuff, you know? Uh-huh. And uh, this guy, we're going down the road, this guy pulled over and he started talking shit, to, started talking shit, saying he could call the cops on us and all this and that. And I'm like, what really? a douchebag. Okay. You know that bag I handed you earlier? Yeah. It's for the well, packages. Well, we got, we at least got to get eight packages. I don't know where you came up with this magic. I got 12, I, in the last three days, I have 15 packages. Mm -hmm. Am I lying? I don't know. I'm just teasing. Thank you, Ashley, from Thibodeau, Louisiana. Yes. I should have worn my LSU beanie down. She might have bought more, more from if I had an LSU beanie. Well, yeah. you know, Lorraine was down in Baton Rouge. She got me an LSU beanie. Mm-hmm. She did. Okay, so there's Ashley's order. Thank you very much, Ashley. Thank I appreciate you, Ash. it. All right, so Chelsea. Out there in Marietta, California. Huh? Yep, yeah, you're correct. Oh, Hawkeyes herself who started the Hawkeyes business. All right, so she got the First Love perfume. So let me. Hey, Kelsey, do you have a brick fence? Kelsey or? Chelsea, the Chelsea, I'm sorry, I get them mixed up. They're both valued customers. We have our Simple Treasures party for our kick-ass customers. Mm -hmm. And Wendy has that 55-gallon drum of uh, Diet Pepsi and Captain Morgan mixed. I knew we lied to. She's gonna have a 55 gallon drum with Captain Morgan. She's oh, I just need this 12 ounce can of Pepsi to chase it. Hardy, hard, hard. Oh, Chelsea, do you have a brick fence? I just wanted to know that. Uh, 
she does not. Uh, but she knows what I'm talking about. Okay. Most of the houses in California have a brick or stucco fence around it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? Nothing. You know what I like when your neighbors put a fence up and they do it right? You get half a fence for free. Huh? What? When your neighbors put a fence up, you get like half of the fence for free pretty much. Okay. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Now, if your neighbors was a sweet, now if you was like my nephew's age or that people out there with young teenage sons, you know, and your next door neighbors were just Swedish bikini models or the bikini team, yeah. they'd be very disappointed when they put that fence up. No, Mom! <laughs> Alexa, how much time remaining on our timer? You have eight minutes and 40 seconds left on your 30 minute timer. Go Lions, man! Chelsea's order. Thank you very much. Thank you, old Hawkeyes. Right. So, Jesse has ordered the Tease Rebel, St. Paul, Minnesota, and this is their first order. Oh, man, the Twin Cities, baby. The Twin Cities, man. You know the bodies from friggin' the Twin Cities. Jesse the Body Ventura. You know his motto is became a, binge, a bingo bango, a Vicky bango. It has become a motto of the people I know. Win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat. St. Paul, baby. It cold up there. I had a chance to go to a blind school up there. I turned them down. Mm -hmm. But if anybody wants to go and really be urbanized, you're going to have to go to Minneapolis to learn the bus system and all that. Mm -hmm. Because it's it's urban. You know, it's in Minneapolis. Mm -hmm. Can you say mm-hmm about something else? I'm just reading. Don't buy into it. And to all you haters, we ain't drinking the Haterade. Okay, well, by saying that much, you're feeding into them. Ah, they're all douchebags anyway. And... Remember, do they still have screensavers on computers? Yes. Do they still have the flying toasters? Oh, I don't know about that. Some places I heard when you get up and leave, you have to have your screensaver on. Mm -hmm. Or that's automatic grounds for termination. So, Jesse in St. Paul, Minnesota? Okay. What? Never mind. Evidently, somebody placed an order and only ordered one thing, and... She says she was told, she was asked why did she only order one thing, which is a crock of you know what. Yeah. But we, she'll never order again. Well, thank okay. you very much. We don't want your business. And let me tell okay. you something. When you people order under the friggin' part, I do try to say something to save you. Because what you're going to pay in shipping, you could have got more products. You know what I mean? That's why I say that. Take care of you guys. Oh. But that's fine. If you feel that way... Be our guest. Go somewhere else. And some people... Well, I don't know why, if you feel that way, I don't know why you're bothered, why you're here now. 
That's true. I mean, that that's just... We've done that for somebody, and I said that to somebody, and they found out they made a mistake, and they come back and ordered more so they could get yeah, the free so shipping, I'm... and they were grateful for it. So when I do that and someone saves some money... So to make a huge proclamation like that and all the yeah. shit... You know, I don't want to take away from Jesse from St. Paul, Minnesota. So, yes, here you go. Thank you very much, Jesse. The you Twin Cities, it. baby. You know, that's actually the capital of Minnesota. Most people think it's Minneapolis. All right. Well, that was a lot of order, and I'm guessing that's probably... Alexa, what time is... How much time remaining on our timer? Mm -hmm. You have four minutes and 20 seconds left on your 30 Four minutes time. to get some of these perfumes. And I don't need to be told to apologize to somebody for offending somebody. I, I'm not going to apologize for that. If you really expect me to apologize for looking out for somebody and, and saying, hey, you know, you could have got more products for the price of the shipping you paid, um, then. That's just being a good know. businesswoman. Most businesses wouldn't tell you that. They just let you go ahead and do it. Yeah. And the fact that, you know, you. Felt the need to get on here in a public forum forum and, and say something about it. If you were so offended, then you should have sent a message last night and you could have done so privately instead of this way. So. Ghetto birds out. But for all the people who ordered tonight, thank mm -hmm. you very much. Jesse, for being a first-time customer, we really want to thank you. And you will be getting an email from Simple Treasures thanking you for our, for your business. What? What? We're going to have to get off. Don't attack a paying customer that's fund finding your eating habits. I Number one, learn how to, how to type. Number two... Hey, hey, guys. Good night. You know, I don't need this. Hey, good night, guys. To, to feed my family or to put food on my table or to pay any sort of bills here. This is something that I do for fun. So if you think I'm going to grovel to anybody in here, let me swing the camera so you can see me right. And make sure you screen record it so you can play it again for yourself. I don't need this to pay for anything here. This is a hobby. This is this is a hobby. This is something I do for fun. And if you don't like it, Please. too bad. If you don't like what we're selling, or you don't like us, then you do not have to buy from us. That's exactly true. And you know what? I just joke about we need the money or we need this. It's all supposed to be fun. This was supposed to be a website where we could have so, friendly banner and, and have fun. You know, and I'm not going to apologize... For informing somebody that for the price that they paid in shipping, they could have gotten some other pro some other products that would have been free. I'm not going to apologize for that. And cheaper. That's the whole point. Yeah. That's why we tell people to order twenty dollars. They don't have to pay the shipping. We so, need the shipping. So if you feel like you owe you you're owed an apology, you're not getting one. <laughs> You might as well go jump in a lake. So and cool yourself. That, that's out. just let me okay, for you. a minute here. So don't don't get it twisted on all of this. So don't don't act like you're paying some sort of bills or I need this to survive because and honestly, I don't. I do it for fun. I do it because I like to get deals and pass them on to you. So I'm not going to apologize for simply making a statement of for the price of the shipping that you paid, you could have had some other products that were basically free. And if you would like to purchase to get something else, we can work something out with that. No, we can't. We're not. No, gonna... I'm not saying that now. That's not an option now. The product's gone. The order is gone. Yeah. That the time for that would have been last night. And you could have DM'd us. 
Someone did. And it's, okay, let me talk. They can't hear what I'm saying. So I want to make it clear that those of you who think you're hurting me somehow by doing all the crap that, you, that, that you're pulling, and you're not. And, and for the people who think that I depend on this and that... Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. That think I depend on this for income to live? No. So, and the fact that you made such a big to-do over to where everybody... Number one, you had, you had to do it publicly... You couldn't. You couldn't have sent a message privately. Um, the fact that you made the statement multiple times here tonight, just and you did it just to poke somebody in order to get what you what you're what what you're getting right now. So, and and what do I do publicly to businesses all the time? Give me an example. So, you all are allowed to say whatever you want, do whatever you want, and it's a-okay. But the minute I stand up for myself or say something back, then, oh my God, I'm so hurtful to all of you. And you could do all the screen records you want and say all the shit and tell me that, oh, it's good that I got up and walked across the room that way to get my heart rate up to lose my weight. That's okay. That's a-okay. But the minute I stand up and say, you know, hey, no. You're not, you're not going to do this. You're not going to say these things. The man I stand up and say, no, I'm not going to apologize for simply looking out for somebody and saying, hey, you could have gotten free products for what you paid for shipping. And if you'd like to do something about it, we can correct it now here. You don't get to come back the next day. Say nothing the, the day that it, that it happened. Say nothing that day. Come back the next day and make a big to-do today to where we're, we have this discussion. You don't get to do that. So it doesn't work that way. So if you, if you don't like it and you don't like us, then you don't have to watch. But instead, you all you just keep coming back and you keep coming back in order to poke and try and get some sort of hideous reaction. So then you could say, see, look, she's awful. See, look, she's rude. See, look, this is how she really is. Yeah, this is me. I have never pretended to be anything else. I've never pretended to be fake. I've never pretended to be joyous. I've never pretended to be anything other than what I am. And if you call it rude and nasty, then that's what it is. 110%. And you know what? This is me. I like makeup. I like perfume. I like shopping. I like to go out and find a cheap deal in order to post it on my website so that you all can have it. And if that is the worst thing in the world, then so be it. Yes, I am fat. Am I the prettiest thing in the world? Nope. Never said I was. Do I like makeup? Do I like putting on my makeup every day? Yep. Do I do it right? Nope. Never said I did. Did I ever claim to give a tutorial or to be an authority on makeup? Nope. Never did. And yes, you're correct. P the people who are nasty want this reaction and I've given it to you. I don't think you're being nasty at all. I think you're just telling people like it is. So, no, I've been triggered and I need I need mental help. You don't need any mental help. I need mental help. No. We, we've got psychiatrists that are on here that have declared me mentally unstable. Well, you know what? We, we have, we have 
doctors who've declared me physically unfit. Well, you know what? We've you, had we've had the whole gamut. Well, you know what these people, of all of it. And these I people am, are not doctors. They're not psychiatrists. They're actually breaking the law trying to practice medicine without a license. You know, hey, it is what it is, guys. And it's a just supposed to be a okay. No, it's to try not. and tear somebody into the ground, and especially and, and especially do it at a time when somebody, when you know somebody's had a heartache and have and had issues, that's when you really do it. And the fact that there people have have screen recorded and and made uh, videos on the day that I made. Put on was getting ready and dressed and put on my makeup for my mother's funeral and have made fun of the way I looked and what I wore to my mother's funeral. But that's okay. It's okay to be called Wendell and Warthog and Hoggy and Piggy and whatever the fuck else they want to call. That's just okay. Because you because how dare you put yourself on the internet? How dare you? Hey, won't you just get off here, Wendy? You're not doing yourself any favors. You're just getting well, yourself... Well, no. Uh, yes, see, I need to I need to see a therapist. No, you don't. You no, it, it's... They, you they know what, it? guys? Won't y'all y'all go fuck yourself? Because I'm so, the one that's got to deal with this. Not you guys. Right. She's done nothing wrong. So each and all one of yeah. your trolls, go fuck yourself. Rule. So, and, and do you know what? And I snapped, and we have 1.1 thousand people watching this. Eleven hundred people. Uh huh. And probably a whole ton of them are trolls. Are trolls and screen recording them so that they can republish it. You know what? All we try to do is go on here and sell something. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say something. Let me say something right now. That person that made that comment about that. You know, we have customers on here. We value very much. And when they have a problem, they don't get online. They DM us. They explain the situation. And it gets taken care of. Mm -hmm. Just like you could have done yesterday. And I'm not going to name names of our customers who do that. But they know who they are. And we value them very much. All you got to do is DM us. And explain your situation. And we would have rectified. Just like the other, the lady the other day. Mm -hmm. We said, hey, can we, wait, wait. we fixed it. We canceled the order. We canceled the order. And she came back. And she got enough to get over. And that's exactly it. And that was that. And, and was, how many times, especially for people who have ordered the first time, and and who didn't buy the, enough for the shipping and, and and everything else, but because they were first time customers and they thought they were going to get the shipping, how many times have I taken off that shipping and given them to it for nothing, even though they didn't meet the criteria to get the free shipping? Well, how, how many, many times have I done that? Many Nobody many, talks about that. Well, how many times have people have spent over twenty dollars and not put the code word in? And there? and we've refunded their money of their shipping. Yeah. How many times have I done that Many online? Many times. I but nobody asked. talks about that. No. That but the fact somebody dared to say, hey, you only bought one thing. You didn't meet the threshold for the free shipping. Um, maybe you might want to reconsider that and come back and get something else. We can work it out. Oh, no. Then you've shamed them for only buying one thing. Didn't shame at all. I didn't shame them at all. Nobody shamed anybody. I was trying to help them. You know? So so that lady... Well, wait. Let me case the point. I'm blind. So I called up the internet. I called up Comcast and I had all this internet. And the lady that worked there said, I have a husband and three teenage kids. And I don't use that much internet, sir. And told me what I needed to get and, and lowered my price down. Mm -hmm. Am I supposed to get on there and talk bad about that lady? No, I ought to be kissing her ass is what I ought to be doing because she saved me money. Well, no, but evidently if you didn't accept it, then you're supposed to talk bad about her. No, I, I wouldn't. Because not. she tried to shame you. That by, by offering that, she shamed you according to No, she did me philosophy. a philosophy. If I seen that lady out in public, I'd kiss her ass because... Uh, but, 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 you, but, you see, but you see what I'm saying? And, and we nobody nobody comments on the days where we. What's the what did the hell's angels say one time? Where we, we can do a million great things, but one bad thing. Someone said what I did. Everyone thinks we're bad people. But on this one, we didn't even do anything bad. No, I didn't. We offered somebody a way to get something for cheaper. 
Alexa, what time is it? And that was a crime. PM. You know, we're going to get off here. You need to watch some of your shows, right? So, that's we have one more order, and okay. I would like to fill it online yeah. while we're still live. Yeah. Um, Because I want to make sure I thank Rachel. This is her first order, and I'm sorry that you got lost. I had lost to put up with all the bullshit. All this crap. Yeah. Where's Rachel rocking out of? Pennsylvania. North, um, Brasales. Never heard of it. Well, I'm probably saying it wrong. We know I'm fabulous at that. Um, but Pennsylvania. You know Wendy's, not Wendy, but uh, Lorraine's sister. I think say you had a... <laughs> being an only child would be hard to have a sister-in-law, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Um, but so anyway, she got the Among the Clouds uh, body scrub and the just showered three-wick candle. So mm. let me get yeah. that. You know what I think the biggest mistake, guys, honestly... The Bath and Body Works made was calling that the Hanukkah candle. Yeah. Because, like, the lady was sitting there and said, I don't know what ethnicity she was, because it could have been either or. Yeah, But she was kind of like, uh. I think she was Spanish, maybe. Spanish, but she was like, I don't really get it, the Hanukkah candle. And I asked three or four people on here, so I'm not Jewish. My sister said, I'm mm -hmm. not Jewish. I said, I said, they should have just called it Good Jelly Donut. She'd have been like that. They said, if it had been called that, it would have been a better seller, you know? Yeah. She was a sweetheart, really nice lady. Another lady was even nicer. The store that I went to today, yeah. they had a bunch of them too, and I was like, oh. Yeah, but we like one of those, and everybody online would really have a reason to cuss us out and call us dumb. Well, <coughs> we just don't. That'd be the day you lied to me. I'd be like, oh. <coughs> Wendy has commandments. These are Wendy's commandments. Thou shalt not leave a fan on while you're gone. That shall not turn the dryer on. <laughs> Lorraine went over to the house and done laundry. I just left the dryer on. I said, well, you broke one of Wendy's commandments. <laughs> that shall not get mad at Lizzie when she sleeps, sits in your lap in the car. I'm like, Lizzie, I, come on. Alexa, what's the Buffalo Bills score? At the moment in the AFC Divisional, the Buffalo Bills are losing to the Kansas City Chiefs 27 to 24 with 14, 20 left in the fourth quarter. Does Josh Allen got to muster up some guts? He lose this time, man. Patrick Mahomes will be his daddy. Huh? You know what's crazy? We sold more of the other stuff than we did the perfume so far, haven't we? No, I don't think so. I don't know. Well, yeah, that Hanukkah candle it just smells so good, man, but the name just kind of turns people off, you know? Yeah, like I said. And that's not an isolated incident. <laughs> no, it's not. They had uh, the wallflowers, too. But oh, I didn't get yeah, any man. of those. Lucy bought all those up last time. Mm -hmm. All except one. Gimme, 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 gimme. Mm -hmm. Maybe if we had that in a wallflower, see how it would work. We've had we've sold a couple wallflowers. No, I'm talking about the... Uh, Hanukkah. Oh, in the house here? Yeah, the Hanukkah one. We've yeah. sold, a, sold a couple of the... We sold one to Ruthie. Uh-huh. We've sold more than one. I know we had it before Christmas. I don't know. I might just give you one of those candles while you're here. Turn it on. Mm. Then when you're off, turn it off. I don't know. I'm not real big on that candles myself. Yeah, and we got a little Miss Potter here. Uh-huh. I think it's a jelly donut. And then, oh, my God. Ooh, jelly donut. Mine, mine. Yeah. Get off there, Lizzie. Uh. Not had good experiences with wax. Yeah. To be honest, but uh, but I but I have thought about getting maybe a wallflower yeah. pre-fill. Yeah. 
free fill for us. But you'd be going around here looking for. With my dog? Uh-huh. Who you're sniffing. Yes, I have blue coats. Burrito for lunch, dinner tonight. Uh-huh. So, see, we, uh, have, uh, came down, calmed things down. Yeah, thanks. And now 739 people, so they were just here for the show. Because you so Yeah, guys, Valentine's Day is coming up. Women, tell that worthless man in your life to get something off here for you. Does he really have to be worthless? I mean, you know. Well, you know, most guys don't know what to get a woman anyway. Look, I got you a chainsaw for Valentine's Day. Oh, that is true. I'm like, what the hell do I need a chainsaw for? Am I a lumberjack in the greater Oregon, Washington area? I do kind of like your method of gift giving. Yeah, go get, go tell me what you want and I'll <laughs> give you the money for it. And then I don't get in trouble. Like Christmas. Oh. Did I do anything? Oh, I said, you girls go up and get your feet done. Here's your Christmas mm -hmm. gift. Now get out of my hair. And that was after I said, you know, I could use my feet to be done. All right. <laughs> make sure you take her with you that she makes you check her feet before you get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I done that, man, I was mad as hell, Lorraine. Yeah, her... Her feet did not come back any better than what they left. But that place called Posh Nails here in Clarksville, mm -hmm. got to go to them. They do a terrific job. Yes. That they or they were just pissed and they were pissed at <laughs> All right. Is there any more orders? There are not. You want to give them five minutes because we were ranting and raving, so if they want to get something, you just want to get off. Um, whichever you think. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. You have her in a hotel room randomly selling shit, and she works full-time as well. Um, last I checked, this was my house and not. Now, we go to the pay by the, we go by the pay mm -hmm. by the hour motel, you know? Yeah. Get a little freak on, and then we sell some stuff, man. You know, hey. Yeah. Then, like, going to the pay by the hour motel, man. Oh, stop it. See, somebody just said they do not live in a motel. <sighs> it's a rumor. No, we do live in a motel. We got one, and we have a, a in our room. Oh yeah, we do live in that rumor is true, and we have a big old friggin' uh. We get up in our, our martini shaped uh, hot tub, have great hot tub parties too. You know. Mm. Well, guys, when it's five minute timer, there will be no more of this five minute timer stuff starting this week, mm -hmm. Tuesday, Thursdays. Saturday mornings and Sunday afternoons will be the new new hours of our operation. Have you ever gotten Bear by Victoria's Secret? I have. That sells I, really fast. It does, and I um did not get any did not find any today when I was there. Well we did find some of the oils in the pink section that somebody was being a being a singer and ranting and raving about. I did, so but that should be posted tomorrow. Yeah. We'll be on the lookout tomorrow night by uh, 10 o'clock tomorrow night. Yes. She's going to get here about 6, 6.30. We're going to eat. And then after that, she's going to watch her shows yes. while she posts the stuff. I think we have another order. Who? All right. Okay. We A Goose Creek three-wick candle. Mm -hmm. um, Did they get Grandma's nut or Mr. Mint? Just plain Candyland. Ooh. And this is McKenzie's first order. Where's McKenzie rocking out of? Vista, California. Vista, California. <laughs> okay, so let me get that. <coughs> so when are you Californians going to invite me out there to do some surfing? Lizzie says she wants to come too. She wants to go to that hot dog 
that hot dog place, Pink's Hot Dogs. She wants to take her picture right in front of the pink hot dog. Huh? Uh huh. Now, Lizzie wanted me to let each and every one of you know that we cannot accept gifts, but she can. And if you would like to send her a gift certificate or a gift card to Daddy Dog here in Nashville, she would be more than happy to take it. And she said, and she will, and she will do a little video of her eating her daddy dog for you. Yeah. We will not accept gifts, me or Wendy, but Lizzie said there's no shame in her game. Yeah. She would like something to daddy dog or Sonic. She will eat the chili cheese coney. All right, so you sh you've talked so much about the grandma nut. Yeah. Would you like to smell it? Mm, that smells like grandma's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> But no, she was just talking about that the other day, and uh, she was telling me, you know, Nanny John, how come they won't send me any gifts, like a like a gift card to uh, Daddy Dog so I can eat them hot dogs? Uh -huh. She said also, there's no shame in her game. If you want to get her that wagon with the uh, air with the air conditioners on it, the fans. You're more than happy to do it. Yeah. I'd like that. <coughs> yeah. If you're out there, you need to get that grandma's nut. Yeah. That just sounds so wrong. It does sound so wrong. Well, I'm not the one who came up with the name. No, you are not. But it does sound wrong. All right. I like to stop. I stop the Okay, let me get an envelope here. Uh -oh. Did all she get was Candyland? Yeah. Did she put the free shipping code in? She did. All right. That's what I'm talking about. But yeah, if somebody wants them Hanukkah candles, you let me know. They have plenty of them everywhere. I think they shouldn't have called them that because I think a lot of people are scared off by the name. That is true. You know, and that's not being... That's not being anything. That's just mm -hmm. everyone said it. The lady even up there said it, you know? Yeah. Oh. So can you describe the candy lamb scent? I'm trying to see if it says. Alexa, what's the Buffalo Bills score? At the moment in the AFC mm. Divisional, the Buffalo Bills are losing to the Kansas City Chiefs 27 to 24 with 12 minutes left in the fourth quarter. Okay, so it does not have any scent notes on the... Let the blind man smell it. Let me see if I can oh, tell you. I'm getting ready to wrap it up here. Okay. But here, no. Here, here you go. This is blind testing for you. Uh-huh. Mmm. Smells like fruity pebbles. Yeah, it, I mean, it, it, it's fruity. It's like fruity pebbles. Yes. Or like all that candy you got as a kid in your pocket for a buck. Mm -hmm. Do you often sell men's products? Yes, I do. However, I'm currently very low on men's products. What do you have today? What do you, not, not what we bought, but what do you have right now in a men's product? Aloe and Palm shower gel. Yeah. And I think a lotion or a body cream from Victoria's Secret. Yes, him. Well, we got some stuff today that we're going to post tomorrow. But yeah, I got a couple things today. And we're sorry about that, guys. We're sorry we couldn't post everything today, but it was just a fast-paced day. Yes. It didn't help that the Irish place was closed for the ring. <laughs> yeah, it didn't help that we kind of drove all around. But that's a good thing. We were able to get a lot of stuff that we wouldn't be able to get. Mm -hmm. 
So if you'd like to see what we have in stock, you can go to the website. Yes. It's not ready yet. SimpleTreasuresForSale.com. Easy for us to say. So, and I did go through it the other day and kind of clear off the stuff that was sold out. So you don't have to weed through a whole ton of stuff. Well, let's deal with the BS so you can buy. packages that were bought last night mm -hmm. they were shipped they were uh, dropped off at the post office today yes all right so mckenzie thank you very much okay oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. yes the camera you want to bless it we will she says no <laughs> um but I will say the candle prayer, and it's uh, when it goes in the in the mailbox in the morning. Alexa, what time is it? It's eight thirteen p.m. Alexa, set the two minute timer. Two minutes starting now. Wendy, what lipstick in your opinion lasts the longest? Maybelline Superstay Lip Ink. That was easy. <laughs> Wendy, do you want to kill John and Lorraine? When we drive by the Maybelline plant in Little Rock, Arkansas. Yes, because I've still yet to see it. <laughs> Every single time. They're like, there's Maybelline. Where? Where? <laughs> oh, it was back there. We passed it. Okay, so we have. Is Sandra. Name sounds from familiar. Florida. Sandy from Florida or a different one? It says Sandra. This is Where's her fifth rocking? order. Huh? This is her fifth order. Well, oh, she's rocking out. And I think this is the one where I've made the mistake of, well, we can't ship that like that because it says Florida, Florida. But we've shipped five orders before, so. Well, I think she had a problem. I think she'd just get on the old friggin' yes. DM and let us know, you know? Yes. You know, there are some of our customers who just DM us and go, oh, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. So. Living on the run. I got me a Sheltie in Tennessee. All right, so let's. Let me get a. Let me Hanukkah name. Show some of them. What's well, in Mount Julie?
place. Hey, are you? He's got tattoos. They all got tattoos. Well, that. Huh? Mm -hmm. They all got tattoos, she said. Oh, yeah. And they all and they change their hair color every five minutes. So, you know, you never quite know. I did like the flavoring they put on her last time besides this one. Well, we'll have to. Let Taylor know. Mm -hmm. You know Ryan Reynolds owns a phone company now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they gotta diversify their portfolio. Well, oh, you ought to know you're an accountant. So if something happens. They're not down working at the cat they're not at the Home Depot giving out pepperoni sticks mm -hmm. to Lizzie. Yeah, I mean it's never a good idea to Put all your eggs in one basket, man. Mm. You've right. been bashing the Hanukkah candle? I'm bashing the Hanukkah candle? Uh -huh. No, I'm not. No. In fact, you've done nothing but talk it up. Talk it up, man. I'm just saying they should have changed the name. Because everyone's uh, scared away from it because of the name. Yeah. They've said it on here. My sister said it. The lady said it at the cash register. Yeah. She did what she thought I was going to talk about, you know. No. All right. So, Sandra, thank you very much for your order. I appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy. Yeah, as I'm bashing Hanukkah candles. I'm like. That's the one candle I wanted. They do have a lot of them. At they didn't sell because okay. of the name. Yeah. They were not going to sell because of mm -hmm. the name. The name just... Mm -hmm. People just... It's, it's weird. You, when, you, yeah. when you put a religious thing on something, yeah. it just never sells, man. People stay away from it. Well, they it. had this, this year, and I haven't really noticed it in prior years, where they had like a Hanukkah, Hanukkah pocket back holder... And a couple of other things that were Hanukkah themed, and I've noticed they've had a lot of them left over. Well, it's like this right here, and it didn't help matters what happened this year. Yeah. You know, I mean, that didn't help matters either. I, I wouldn't be surprised they basically give those things away. Mm -hmm. and it's sad because those things smell so good. Mm -hmm. Even the lady had to admit they smell good, but she yeah. wanted to stay away from it. You know, I just think once you once you name something a religious thing like that, mm -hmm. people just man they yep. stay away from it, man. Okay, well that seems to be it for orders. Okay, well we're gonna get off here. So yep, I think we're gonna end. And you all have a good night. And for our first time customers, thank you very much. Yes, thank we'll, you very much for ordering. I do Jesse appreciate from Saint it. Paul, Saint Paul, Minnesota. Thank you. Um, Rachel. Yeah. Yeah, Rachel. You, so should Our we pencil? go over? Should we go over the last four of the perfumes yes. that we have left, just in case? Yes, in case somebody decides overnight that they want one. Yes, please. So just real quick before we get off here. So we've got the bombshell ode or O U D. Ode. 
We have Dream Angel, which you guys were talking this one up. I'm surprised it's still here. If it plays that basic instinct stuff, I'm going to scream at you guys. We've got Hardcore Rose. Yes. Um, and then we've got The Love. And that's L-O-V-E. Mm-hmm. Yes. So uh, those are the four perfumes we have left. Now, just a side note, on the Hardcore Rose, I do have some lotion that would that matches this, or body cream. That matches this. So just so you're aware. But those are the last of the perfumes. So if you, if uh, anybody wants a perfume and you order after we go off the live tonight, then uh, be assured that before I leave for work in the morning, it will be packaged up and sent with everybody else's yeah. tomorrow morning. So you all have a good night and we will see you Tuesday. Tuesday. All right. At 7.30. Yep.